Hello guys, in this book video, probably some people have saw this this book, but most of you didn't, because it is called Room on the Broom, made by Julia Donaldson and, and uh, Axel Shuffler. Room on the Broom. Before we reread, I'm, I'm not going to tell you, but just look at the picture. Room on the broom. There's the cat. Like my ginger tall cat. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and a long ginger hair which, which she wore in the plate. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. <sighs> Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the wish pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plate. The bird saw it. cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the blow of, I mean for the boat but no boat for, could be found then out of from a tree with an ear splitting shriek they flapped a green bird with a with the boat in her beak she dropped it politely and bit her head low then then said as the witch tied her plate in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. The frog saw it. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Can you see one eye? That's a frog. Wait, did I miss something? Nope. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog. With a, with a dripping wet wand, he dropped it politely and dropped that, and then then said with a croak, croak. As the witch tried to ride the wand on a fold of her cloth, I am frog as clean as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. Going. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the, the moor, the moors and the mountains they flew. The, the frog jumped 
for joy and the bird snapped in two. Oh, bonk! Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went, went tumbling into a bog. Do you know what a bog is? It's like a, it's like a, a, a pond of swamp. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am as dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have fruit and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon flew nearer and licking his lips. You know what licking his lips is? I'll tell you at the end. S said maybe this one's I'll have rich without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch, Rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, sticky, and feathery, f feathered, and fur and furred. It had four frightful heads, and had wings like a bird. And its and its terrible voice that it started to speak was a yell and a growl as a croak and a shriek. It dripped. It dripped and its squawked and it strayed from the ditch and said to the dragon buzz off that's my witch that dragon's frightened the dragon drew black back and he started to shake i'm, I'm sorry he spluttered a mistake it's nice to have met you but now i must fly and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky there's a dragon he has his eye then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog down climbed the cat and pew said the dog and thank you oh thank you the great wolf the grateful witch cried, Without you, I'd, I'd be in that dragon's inside. There's a dragon. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, he muttered a spell. Ickety, zickety, zickety, zoom! Then, then out rose... Dot, dot, dot. A truly magnificent broom. Magnificent. Ma magnificent. Magnificent. Sorry, book corner. I don't know how to spell this word, but don't, don't matter. With seats for the witch and the cat and the frog, and this for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Now that is the magnificent room I ever seen. Look at the moon. <laughs> so that's what you you actually call this book, Room on the Broom. Okay. 
the next time I read a book, it will be actually like something from my school library, okay? And bye-bye.